Shalom, shalom, shalom. Call Allah and Law Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh by Hashem Rekha Kadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders and great millstone who have taught me this truth and who rule well. No respect to salutations, peace and blessings out there to you sincere and hopeful elect scattered across the four winds of this earth. It's your fellow servant Malachi coming in from the GMS Tampa Bay camp. And I want to get into a, a short lesson, Lord willing, going into how you attain this wisdom, the, the true wisdom, all right, of these scriptures, which is uh, the woman, which is Sophia. And I'm going to compare it to how if you take on another woman besides Sophia, all right, which is wisdom, all right, and you take on another woman, that strange woman, you will be taken by her and you will be caught up out here, especially in these last days. All right, so we're going to go ahead and jump into it. <clears throat> we can start in the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, and we're going to start at verse 13. It reads, Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold. All right? So when you look at wisdom, this is something that it cannot be compared to anything in this world. All right. Nothing uh, such as the, the money, uh, uh, the silver, the gold, uh, uh, even if you selling out on, on, on anything in this world, there's nothing can be compared to this truth. All right. Nothing can be uh, compared to wisdom. All right. It reads on verse 15. She is more precious than rubies. All right. So when you look up rubies, you know, these are gems. These are things that uh, that come from the earth uh, 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 of rarity. All right. These are things that are rare. These different jewels. All right. And you, it, it's, it says that it's more precious than rubies. All right. It reads on. And all the things thou canst desire and Salakia are not to be compared unto her. Right. So the things of this world, all right, there's nothing that could be compared to the wisdom of the Most High, all right? Even the, the foolish things of the Most High, all right, is still better than the wisdom of this current world, this current age that we're in today, all right? It reads on, verse 16, length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand, riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasant, of pleasant, Salakia, of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. All right. So when you attain this knowledge, all right, when you attain wisdom, which is Sophia, that 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 the woman whom the Lord wants you to grab hold on to, all right, all your paths that uh, that you're going to be able to take, all right, it should be peace unto you. Why? Because you have the wisdom, all right, to discern. Uh, uh, if you see something uh, up or, uh, up ahead of the road, all right, you have the wisdom to know not to go that way, all right? And that's going to be the Lord is going to be guiding you through these scriptures, all right? It reads on, verse 18, she is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her, and happy is everyone that retaineth her. Verse 19, Yahweh, by wisdom, hath founded the earth. By understanding hath he established the heavens. By his knowledge the depths are broken up, and the clouds drop down the dew. Verse 21. My son, let not them depart from thine eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion. So shall they be life unto thy soul, and grace to thy neck. Then shalt thou walk in thy way safely, and thy foot shall not stumble. All right, as the scripture says, the uh, the commandments is is, uh, is is a light. All right, unto you. All right, this wisdom is going to be a light unto you. This is what's going to make those uh, uh, those spirits of of, of the of the hopeful elect out there. They're going to shine. All right, wisdom maketh the man face to shine. As the scripture says, roughly paraphrasing. All right. So this is the woman that you need to be chasing. 
all right, that you're when you're in this truth, all right, you're supposed to be into it, you know, speaking to myself first and foremost, all right, this is the woman that you need to obtain, all right, so if you ever go out there and you go look for another woman, it's going to be nothing but death unto you, all right, this is the woman that's going to be there, she's going to nurture you, she's, she's going to get you through the, uh, uh, through the hard times, all right, she's going to give you more knowledge, more wisdom, all right, to discern different things, the times that you're in, she's, the, the wisdom is going to be there, all right, to, 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 to help you in these in these end days. All right. So if you pick any other woman besides this woman, Sophia, which is these scriptures, which is the wisdom from the uh, from up high, from the most high. All right. You're doomed to death if you choose any other woman. All right. So let's jump into that other woman and how she's very bitter. All right. So let's jump to the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter seven. Let me start at verse We can start at, mm, we can just start at verse 25. All right. The point is at 26. It says, I applied mine heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom. And that's what the elect men are going to be doing. All right. The hope for elect. All right. They're going to be out trying to search. All right. The ones that have been called. All right. They're going to be coming out and they're going to be uh, looking and searching and seeking out for wisdom. It, re it reads on, it says, and the reason of things and to know the wickedness of folly, even of foolishness and madness. All right. I think that's the time of when uh, King Solomon said that's what he was searching out for, to know the deep things of, of, of the wisdom, even to know the folliness. All right. And that's what the elect men, all right, the hopeful elect, they're going to attain. All right. Because they were once out there in the world. All right. They've seen the folly. All right. They've seen the foolishness, the madness, the things that's going on out there. But then when they retain this truth, all right, this wisdom, which is Sophia, the, that right woman. All right. This is when they're going to know that this is the right path to go to. All right. But you have many that go the other route and search for that other woman, that strange woman that everyone lusts after. All right. It's the verse 26. And I find more bitter than death. The woman whose heart is snares and nets and her hands as bands. Whoso pleaseth the most high shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. All right. So if you're caught up out here in your sins, all right, caught up out here in, in, in your lust, which which eventually will lead you to sin. All right. The Lord is going to a a if you don't please the most high. All right. Therefore, the Lord is going to have you taken by this other woman. All right. It's going to be these other philosophies out here. It's even going to be an actual physical woman that can bring you out of this truth. All right. But always remember to come back to this truth, which is Sophia. She's the one that's not going to lead you astray. All right. So let's jump to the book of Proverbs 2. And we can start at verse 18. It says, for her house incline, inclineth unto death. And her paths unto the dead. None that go unto her return again. Neither take they hold of the paths of life. It's because they chose the foolishness uh, 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 of the world's wisdom. They chose that route, which is that other strange woman. All right. So this way you got to stay away from that woman. All right. So let's read on to uh, the book of Job. Chapter 30, hmm, 39, and we just start at verse 13. It says, <clears throat> Gavest thou the goodly wings unto the peacocks, or wings and feathers unto the ostrich? All right, so this is right now the Lord, uh, uh, Salaki Job, all right, he's comparing uh, the different wings, all right, of, of, of the actual uh, peacocks, their feathers, all right, and he's comparing it to an ostrich. All right. It reads on verse 14, which leaveth her eggs and the earth and warmeth them in dust. And that's these women out here. All right. When you look at it physically. All right. That's these women out here that have no wisdom. And you have the men that go out here and they chase after these women. OK, so let's jump back to verse Fifth, well, we'll start back at 14. It says, which leaveth her eggs in the earth. 
So lucky, which leaveth her eggs in the earth and warmeth them in the dust and forgetteth that the foot may crush them or that the wild beast may break them. She is hardened against her young ones as though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain without fear. And that's how these women out here, they, 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 they act. They, 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 they just move without fear. All right. They sleep around, commit adultery. They just, they, they just, hey, especially the, the so-called black woman, Judah, man, she's through. She's out here. All right. But you have a lot of men that go out here and they chase these women and they get caught up and they get taken. All right. But if whosoever pleases the most high, as the scripture said, he will, he, he can save that, that, that brother, save that brother from, from that, uh, that evil woman, that strange woman that's out there. That's taking men out left and right. All right. Great men all throughout the scriptures. You can see them. They all have failed due to the woman. All right. Such as you got these people out here. They can fall down to these different doctrines, these different religions. All right. It reads on verse uh, 16 again. She is hardened against her young ones as though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain without fear. All right. Comparing the ostrich to how she's just uh, 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 not caring. She's without fear. She puts her uh, her eggs, her children into the ground. But then guess what? While she's out doing her 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 her, her labor, getting the food ready for the um, uh, uh, I guess for her for her eggs. All right. But she forgets that other uh, uh, the, I guess an enemy other wild beasts may just step on it and break them. She may forget that she left them in the ground. Or that she may happen to step upon them and kill them. That's the ostrich. And that's what is, is, is these women are liking unto. Stubborn. Hardened. All their labor is in vain. They move things without fear. All right. Verse 17. Because the Most High hath deprived her of wisdom. All right. So the rest of these uh, other different religions out here. All right. Uh, um, you got this actual the actual physical woman that you see in today's time and this age. They have no wisdom. They don't have the wisdom of the heavenly father. So therefore, they don't know how to move. This is why they should be uh, guided as such. It reads on because the most High have deprived her of wisdom. Neither hath he imparted to her understanding. So neither one of these women have understanding or wisdom all right so it's no way in order for you to go follow after these strange women these strange doctrines that are out here all right this is why the lord wants you to go ahead and find this wisdom which is these scriptures all right which is the heavenly spirit uh the heavenly father is going to put his spirit in you so that you can understand and attain his wisdom okay so let's jump to the book of Job, chapter 17 Job 17 and hmm. we can start at uh, verse three. It says, lay down now, put me in shirt and surety with thee. Who is he that will strike hands with me? Verse four, the point for thou has hid their heart from understanding. Therefore shalt thou not exalt them. So don't exalt these different religions, these different, uh, 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 um, doctrines philosophies these actual women that you see walking around probably in their tight dress these leggings don't worship them don't don't exalt them all right the lord says they have no understanding in their heart he's hid everything from them all right it may look good it may it, it may be enticing but that's not the wisdom to be following after the wisdom that we should be following after all right is these scriptures which is sophia all right. She's going to open up your understanding. All right. She's uh, uh, she's going to give you the things that you need to know, especially for these end times. All right. So with all that being said is the point is stay away from these women, these strange women. All right. Because the Lord have deprived them of wisdom. All these different religions, all these different uh, philosophies, they have no wisdom in them. So there's no way to go follow them. The ways of that type of wisdom, all right, is nothing but death.
All right, as we read in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, 26, you find more bitter than, uh, let's get that again, it's a lot. Ecclesiastes, we're going to go back to that. We can close out with that again. All right, it's the book of hmm, Ecclesiastes 7 and 26. And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets and her hands as bands. Whoso pleaseth the most high shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. So don't be taken by, uh, so like, don't be taken by this woman. All right. This strange woman. All right. You find, we, we find this woman. All right. To be more bitter than death. All right. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you. Akim and Akwatim. I want to give another shout out to my apostles and elders and great millstone. Who have given me this truth, all right? Who rule well. No respect and salutations, peace and blessings. I that to you sincere and hope for elect. This is Brother Malachi. Shalom.